What's up people, welcome to the Surf and Stop TV and it has been about six weeks since this happened. Here we go, we're on a startler. So, oh, she's defecated in her box. Uh, but here it is, whoa, a little bit lively. Okay, so on today's video, we are taking Ursula here, our Thai bamboo rat snake female, and we are moving her out of quarantine into her new enclosure. Okay, so the plan here with Ursula today is we're gonna move into a new enclosure. So the first thing we're gonna do is take her out of our old quarantine enclosure that she's been in now for 45 days, so a little bit over six weeks. Uh, during this time, we've been monitoring her, making sure uh, she's healthy, uh, she's happy, she's been eating, um, she's been defecating okay, there's been no signs of any, any sort of worry. Uh, she's been perfectly healthy in herself. More importantly, we've been checking uh, for parasites, mites, that sort of thing. There's been no signs of them, we've checked her over. We've checked, uh, because we've kept her in this white uh, kitchen roll, there's been no signs of parasites. So it's all good, so we feel in ourselves uh, like we are happy to move over into a new enclosure. Um, so again, it's been about 45 days, the longer the better for quarantine enclosure. We just recommend a minimum of 30 days. Every time you bring a new snake into, uh, into your new collection, into your home, make sure you quarantine that snake away from that other snake, just so you can monitor these same factors. So okay, so the first thing you're gonna need for your Thai bamboo setup is this 21 litre plastic tub. It's gonna be ideal for creating the perfect environment. Now, we're not after making this thing look as pretty as we can, we're after the perfect environment for a long, healthy, happy life for our reptile. So I'm gonna start off here with a 21 litre tub. Uh, going around the outside here, we've got a thermometer, which we have two probes. So I'm gonna pour one probe here. I'm gonna place it, this will be the cold end, and then I'm gonna pour our second probe, and then we'll have it at the hot end. So the thermometer here allows us to monitor the, uh, the heat on the hot end and also the temperature on the cool end. And of course, we don't have a hot end until we add one of these things. Now this is, of course, a heat map. This is a ProRep uh, 11 by six inch um, heat map. And that is simply just gonna be placed underneath the hot end of the tub here. So that sits in nicely, just like that. So you can't have a heat map without perhaps the most important piece of equipment in your setup, and that is the thermostat. This is a 100 watt microclimate thermostat, and it is incredibly important to have one of these things. The thermostat actually controls, allows you to control the temperature of the heat map. Without one of these, and just using the heat map, the heat map is gonna get overheated, too hot, and it's gonna risk burning a reptile, and you don't wanna do that. So a microclimate uh, thermostat, has three cables coming off it. We've got the mains, which goes directly into your power. We've got the heater, which is um, the this end, which is what your uh, heat mat gets plugged into. And then we have the sensor, which is actually the probe that looks just like this. So what I like to do is place my probe directly next to my uh, probe from the temperature gauge, because then we're gonna get really positive readings that whatever is displaying on our temperature gauge here is the same reading that our thermostat's gonna get. Okay, so we've taken down um, all of our probes. Um, we've also taken down the holes which the cables go through, so it limits any escapee attempts. And now we're gonna move on to the substrate. So the substrate we use for our Thai Babu rat snakes is an eco-earth soil. Uh, this serves two purposes and why we use it. One, the Thai Babu rat snake is a boring species and it is gonna love this soil. It is gonna feel right at home. Two, this is perfect for humidity and it is so important to get a high humidity when it comes to making a, a setup for this snake. Um, which quickly brings me on to the holes just around the tub here. 
So we've got minimal holes to restrict airflow. This again increases that humidity. But back to the substrate. So we are going to use one of these blocks, um, not all of the soil. We're actually going to split this uh, block in two, which will allow us to create enough soil for this 21 litre tub. Let's get to work. to one of those blocks. We've then halved it, so this is just half of one of those blocks uh, of soil. Uh, this is all ready to go. As you can see, the soil has expanded. It's really moist, you can see it's sticking to my hands here. And it's perfect, uh, perfect to, to go straight in. Okay, so just before we have the soil here, um, if we look at the heat, the, uh, the probe near the hot end, where the heat mat is, um, I can currently see it's take down quite low to the surface of the container. Um, for this uh, species of snake, we don't have to worry too much about um, air temperature being too high because these snakes like a cooler uh, temperature in their containers. So I've set the heat mat currently to 26 degrees. When I do put the soil on, so we're looking for about two inches uh, thick of soil, this probe is going to sit pretty much directly at the bottom of the container here, so at the, at the, the source of where the soil is. Um, so that's going to tell us that the surrounding area is actually 26 degrees, but the actual air temperature is going to be a lot cooler than that. For this sort of species, that's not a problem because they do like these cool temperatures, but for just bear in mind if you do use soil for a snake, um, that does require uh, about a 30 degree, cel um, degree Celsius air, air temperature uh, just bear that in mind that the probe will need to stick out of the substrate so um, there's enough heat getting through the soil. Okay, moving on. Okay. So, let's add some soil. substrate uh, placed into our container now. Now we're all about creating a stimulating environment for our uh, for our snakes. Uh, just provides them a bit more, makes them a bit more active, um, gives us something to do. Oh, we've got the boring substrate, they love boring, that's one thing. But we've also got um, some greenery here. Uh, this is fake, this is plastic, but it just adds uh, again to your environment and then to a bit more, uh, something else for the snake to check out. Uh, we've also got a log here, a bit bought that we got from the pet store, but just to double make sure that it's not come with um, any nasties or anything we don't want in our uh, in our container, um, we've treated this. Um, I'll probably make another video on how we can treat bark um, another time. Uh, we've got one hide for our snake, and then we've also got a water bowl for our snake. Um, Obviously, the size of water bowl you get depends on the size of the snake. We usually um, have a rule here where if the snake can fit its entire body, put its entire body inside a, a water bowl, then that's the right size water bowl for your snake. Um, a water bowl with a larger surface area will also increase the humidity in your, in your enclosure. So it's something to bear in mind if you are struggling with humidity. Okay, so let's get these in. There we have it, uh, a very simple setup. The snakes do tend to be very mobile, so just don't have it too busy. I mean, it's fine adding more, um, more bits of, of bark here and there, that sort of thing, that's perfectly fine. As terms, in terms of hides go, we've got one this end, 
Um, and then what you'll tend to find is on the cool end, the snake will actually burrow under the soil and make a little hide underneath the uh, underneath the water pot here, which is perfectly normal. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Uh, one last thing missing, quite important, we need a hygrometer. Fortunately, I have one with me. And there we have it. So we have a, co uh, a Komodo hygrometer here. So this measures the humidity inside of your enclosure. So the best place to have this is normally located right next to where the uh, thermometer is, it's perfectly fine. As for where the probe goes, I always tend to uh, place my probe sitting just about um, middle of the enclosure um, and then about halfway between the top of the enclosure and where the soil is. Uh, this should give you a nice reading. So for everything you need to know about this setup, so temperature, humidity, everything we've used, you shall see right now. We do have care sheets available for this species of snake. If you go to the website, www.theserpentstop.co.uk, all of our care sheets are available on there. I'll also put it in the description below. So there we have it. We shall now put our Thai bamboo rat snake female, Ursula, into her new enclosure. That's it guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.